What we're going to show is one of our new features. It's called sets. It is essentially an anti-jam feature. What we do is, if we're good on a link, great, we'll stay on that link. When I get sets activated, right, I can encounter jamming on that link, whether it's intentional, urban environment, right, always really noisy trying to pass noms, or if you're out in a real world mission set and someone says, I see you in this band, therefore I want to jam you. And when the jam comes in that band, our radio picks up that interference between two nodes and it says, hey, we're being jammed. We're gonna to move to the next pace plan, next, next frequency. So we're moving from, our primary link right now is 2250 on 10 megahertz. I have this as a special radio. I call them loud mouth. I put software on it just to yell, basically interrupt the link. We'll see the link drop out here when I kick off the jammer and you'll see video go out. What happens when drones get jammed, it actually return to a safe, they usually have like a safe landing location. So once I lose C2 link on my drone radio, it's gonna return back to the point of, uh, point of launch and just stay there until they figure out what's going on. So now I should be jamming and uh-oh. Uh, just so you know, this second right here, right? It is showing a lot of activity in this man but if you want to take a look again so having a radio or a drone with a reliable c2 link that has different bands to switch to that's where we show the highlight of a multi-band radio with sets being able to move between lanes right and we're up now it's up I've got mad noise here. That was a quick recovery on that one. If anyone wants to see you verify, this is the band that's primarily operating on. If I could keep something blood simple and I don't want to check RF and I can have something that's just switching bands within milliseconds and then video comes back up, easy to do, easy to implement, and we're really excited just to show this capability in general.